Yeah, you can see just a swath of darkness over my shoulder where the lights are out here on I-80, except for that rescue crew driving by. Now, NSP tells me they hope to nab the Moonlighter, who's stealing these wires before more of these lights go out. Street light after street light after street light with the wires sliced. Dozens of lamp posts along I-80 and Highway 75 targeted by copper thieves, leaving much of the road in the dark. Well, I know the last theft was four, and that was one of the smaller ones, so it could be upwards of 10 at a time. Captain Matt Sutter with the Nebraska State Patrol says copper thefts are not new, but going after lights is. The amount of wire that they're taking and the, the, the small payout that they're going to get selling that for scrap metal, uh, it, it pales in comparison to the actual cost of the damages and rewiring everything. In fact, it's costing taxpayers a pretty penny. NSP says not only is the suspect cutting wire from the lights themselves, but pulling all the underground conduit too, racking up the repair costs. I would say we're probably well over 100000 at this point. It's mostly along the south side of Interstate 80, between 84th and 60th Street, and on Highway 75 near Chandler. Sutter says they're asking for home and business surveillance video to track the thief and sending out patrols overnight. If you happen to find yourself on the interstate late at night, you see a parked vehicle where maybe it shouldn't be, definitely contact, either call 911 or contact the state patrol office. Plus, not having the roads illuminated is a pretty big safety risk. They hope they can make an arrest soon. We want to make sure that we get this stopped so that we're not putting motors at risk, we're not putting construction crews at risk. Yeah, so if you see any kind of car or van on the side of the interstate that looks like it doesn't belong there, go ahead and call 911. And Sutter says that those contractors won't be out working at night without extremely visible lights and other equipment. So if you see something that doesn't look like it belongs, call 911. Reporting live, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7.